and it helps my role in the family to be at the middle. Alam mo sa sa middle, if you are the middle child, you are either neglected, abandoned, or you are the one trusted to be the center of the family. And I play the role of harmonizing the whole family. Diba? Siguro kaya, siguro I value so much community. <coughs> Hindi yung kanya-kanya grupo. Then that kind of uh, relationship and equality, parang sabi ko, ang tatay ko, wala, walang magseselos sa aming sampung magkakapatid na siya ang favorite siyang ganito. My father had been fair to all of us. Pwede pa ang mother ko na na-accuse of being favorite niyan. Of course, ang youngest, di ba? Uh, or, and then my youngest brother. Pero pwede naman magselos doon yung ibang kapatid ko. Natural naman yun sa nanay, di ba? That my father, even in treating people, he was very just. And my sense of justice, I got it from him. Then the seed of care for the needy. Na-share ko na. Sabi ko, bakit ako ganito? And why am I enjoying caring for people? It was because that was the seed planted and nurtured by my family. It was just nurtured continuously. Sabi ko nga sa Diyos, when I was blooming in my profession, in the community, and in the church, that was the time that He transplanted me, uprooted me to a more verdant pasture, to a greener pasture, which is the Good Shepherd family. So, it is always good that we are at the peak of our life that we are uprooted to be transplanted to another one, to another venture, to spread our growth, to spread our fragrance, and to continuously be nurtured. So it is the Good Shepherd family that continue to nurture what my family had started in my heart. And then the blossoming, how did I blossom? I asked the Lord, how did I blossom? Of course, God nurtured me. My family continued to nurture me. Kung, kung alam ko na ngayon, di pinayagang ko na silang pumunta rito eh, and celebrate sa atin. Diba? Sabi ko, no, because I'm going home. I will be there with you. Okay? My, my birthday is always a family celebration. So what when I was reflecting on the period of blossoming, I said, God, you have helped me so a lot. You have nurtured me so much to bloom. But you know what surprised me? When I was transplanted to the different mission areas, the people nurtured me to continue to blossom as a beautiful person. The farmers, I remember fully, when I integrated with the farmers and lived the life like them, as rejected farmers, the homeless, those who are always bothered by the typhoon, at wala. Kanino ko na kita na concretely the faith and the perseverance of these poor people? And I said, no one, I will not allow anybody to say, tamad ang mga farmers, kaya sila ay nanatiling pobre. It is not because they are tamad. They are just victims of the many calamities and victims of lone sharks. Pag umutang sila talaga naman tumutulo ang luha ko when they share. Why? The interest increased. And because they have no other work, magagastos nila yung kanilang pinagbenta. But the worst is, I think it's unforgivable. For this lone shark, when it is harvest time, they put down the prices very low. Yes. And after that, they will raise the price when the farmers will buy the rice. Yes. 
and they cannot share their harvest to others middlemen because they are indebted to them. They are killing them. And I watched them in the morning when, when there was typhoon and floods. I watched them in the morning when the plants grow and very healthy, suddenly the floods flood. Diba? And in moments, they all <coughs> were all submerged. But what touched me so much with these farmers, as soon as the, their land dr gets dry, alam nyo, the following morning, they are there plowing the fields again. Who would say they are tamad? Diba? So it is the farmers that gave me that kind of wisdom. Then I went with the Aitas, the Dumagats. I said, oh, these people, they are so uneducated. They live in lintos. Alam nyo yun? Yung ganyan lang na mga bamboos and anahaw and banana leaves tapos dito, iba? Just to cover them from the sun. And when I slept with them, I had a lot of uh, fear and I was nervous. What will happen? Right? And they vacated one linto for us, the two of us, a sister, to stay. And syempre, walang linis yan. At least, iminug nila yung kanilang mga gamit. And at, that is about one and a half by two and a half or three and a half meters. Diba? And when we're sleeping, mga ano yun eh, twigs of three, twigs. <laughs> And then under, mayroong charcoal fire. And that is to keep the mosquitoes away. But what touched me so much was that evening when I couldn't sleep because we are so exposed to anything, I couldn't sleep. And in the morning, this tribal men said, Nakatulog po kayo, sister. Ano, nung nakalaman niya na patabiling-biling ako, pabiling-biling niya, sabi, sabi ng matanda, wag po kayong mag-alala, sister. 